I said, we're just recording outside BBC Radio Merseyside. Yeah. Yeah. Billy yeah, Butler. Yeah. Billy Butler and Wally, Wally something or other. Yeah. yeah. I don't know where he's, what he's up to now, to be honest. I don't think he's died. I think he's still around, you know. But uh, it is nice and quiet. It's nice and quiet. There's Radio City over there. This is BBC Radio Merseyside, the back of. Nice little quiet, nice little quiet place, isn't it, for now? We're going to take a visit down to the arcade in a minute. Mum's going to get a pound coins out. I'm going to talk about Billy Butler. Billy Butler? Where did you stupid? Um, well, it would have been in there, wouldn't it? Was Boot. <coughs> Was BBC Radio Merseyside somewhere Where else, was it? To be stationed. Yeah, oh, I don't know. Well, I do. I can picture it, but I think you will alter it with oh. this bit. Uh, Renovated, isn't it? Well, it's been moved. I don't know where it was before. That, that's the only place I've known it, to be honest. It was where they had a pub that they would do three. Let me get over there and sit down. Just a different angle. You might be nicer from the other side, you see, your right to your left side. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I don't know what he's doing now. I think he was I think he might be in Panto or something, you know, doing doing their uh, plays and that. Billy Butler. Oh, Billy or Butler. Or Pete Price normally does something like that around Christmas. Oh, Billy Butler does things like that. Yeah. So it's a glorious day, isn't it? Well, it's a little bit windy. Too windy to go to New Brighton today. That's easy. So did I tell you about that radio show I was on? Yes, you told me. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. Do you want me to, to tell you again? No, don't want to go through it. What the shape shifting that to reptilians no, and aliens and ghosts I'd and like to, to figure out. What happened to Billy Butler? Eight minutes. It was called out on the tip of the tongue now. Come it back was, next week and you was, can tell us. It was a pub. A pub? Oh dear. Where about what area? It was just down. Um, Down there? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It was just down. Oh, oh, yeah, Off yeah. Church Street. Jesus. Where you cut through. Yeah. And at one time, I think you had buses stopping uh -huh. at one side. Yeah. No, I don't know, Mum. Was, yeah, that's well there was a well, very well known pub, perhaps they've knocked it all down. Well, they've knocked them because, all down, haven't they, down? Because, yeah. Because, uh, because of this Liverpool one and stuff. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think the cameo of Never heard of it. So it's well before it my was time. well known. Well, not to me. And, well... Don't forget you're 20 years ahead of me. And there were three, I think. And they really were bad men. And <laughs> what do you mean, bad men? Oh, Billy used to drink in there as well, did he? Oh, I don't know if it Billy. No. Well, why did the, how did but, the pub come up at all? What's that got to do with the radio well, station? You could go past and you could look and you could see Billy and Bobby in like a little, like an entrance uh -huh. to go into the building. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It's well, well before my time. Eh? Can we? I've never I heard of it. I don't think so. I've never heard of it. Oh, well, having a lazy cigarette would be one. I'm getting most. I'm getting most of the smoke. 
Well, I'll move, you know, not you, not you and your cigarettes, me, I'll move, should I? Bloody hell, what's it coming to you? <laughs> Just tell everyone wants to get out the way of the smoke. You know it stunts your growth, you know, Mum. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> you could have been six foot six by now. Oh, you kidding? I've never ever been tall. I don't think I've ever been. You're um, five foot, are you? I'm nine foot eight. I'm four eight. Four foot eight? Last time I was on that measuring thing, four eight. And you take an inch off of your hair, so you're only four foot seven. You're um, almost a dwarf, Mum. Um, exactly. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. You could have been a jockey. Exactly that. You could have been a cracking jockey. There, there was one day, there was a watch called top, um, you know, quiz thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. I wanted the celebrities. Must have been small. Mm. But, like, they're sitting down, so I couldn't see it. And it come about how, what height is you? Yes. And she said, four, eight. And then she stood up. And I looked at her and she thought she was a dwarf. Yeah, you've never been closer to being a dwarf, have you? Maybe a little bit tight at times, but I wouldn't call you a dwarf. Look at the size of them doors behind you. What the hell's in there? Look at the size of them doors there. Behind you there. The massive. I don't know what that building is. But anyway, so we're just having a chat while my mum finishes a cigarette and then we're off to the arcade. But we can't film in there because it's against. Well, it's against something or other. And then the woman stopped us. Bloody hell, I was only filming my mum trying to win a few quid on the fruit machine. She was like she was under hypnosis. I put the money in, she presses the button. <laughs> what about that time when I was talking to the... I turned me back for one minute, put two pound in. Put a two pound coin in the machine. Turn round to speak to the woman about something. Come back, my mum's already pressed the button. But instead of 20 pence ago, you pressed the button for two pound ago. It was gone in one bloody millisecond. Don't you remember? It was me. It was you, all right, yeah. Well, that's it, we'll move on to the next location. I'll carry your bag, Mummy, all right. You're getting yourself together. Right. There we go. She's on the stick. Right, I'll race you, Mum. Right, we'll move on. Can you Just say bye bye to everybody. Can you see me on the yeah, come on, say bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>